the World Rally Championship, where many Kenya rally drivers will be making their debut when the Safari Rally Kenya revs off in Nairobi. I'm Hussein Malik. Um, I drive a Mitsubishi Evolution 10. Um, uh, we are preparing for the WRC. That's what all drivers have been looking forward to ever since we got the news that the WRC is back. So we are excited about it, looking forward to it. Um, I have a team of uh, eight people, including my navigator and me, and there are six mechanics and a team manager who will all be with us during the rally. Yeah, and uh, we're looking forward to having a good safari. Hussein Malik, who's among them, but who's had a feel of what it takes to be on the big stage through his family. WRC is uh, new to most of the people because we didn't have it for like 20 years, but uh, back in the days, my uncle used to rally and he has done a few of the WRC events when it was the WRC. And that time I was just young and fresh out of school, so I was part of his service crew. So at least I'd say I've had the feel of having the wax drivers here and uh, the excitement it brings to the sport and the fans, everyone. So yeah, now being a participant in this one will be of course uh, different and uh, I guess exciting. So I'm looking forward to it. He's had his fair share of glory on the Kenya National Rally Championship ever since he joined the motorsport from Group S to Group N. When I started like uh, my business properly and I had a few shillings that I could put into rallying, of course you start budget rallying, not like what the big boys are spending today or what we are spending today. We started like a budget rallying just for fun and uh, I started rallying also to market my business. I, do, I deal in spare parts and all the rally drivers are either farmers, mechanics, to do with cars. So it was a good way for me to also market my business. And yes, it has grown through rallying and uh, now I can say I'm well known in the rally fraternity. I started rallying 10 years ago. Uh, along the way, uh, we've had ups and downs. Uh, I'd say the ups have been more for us. We've been fortunate uh, to finish events. As a rally driver, number one, when you come into a rally, the first thing you want to do is to finish, okay? Because you've spent a lot of money, a lot of time. So first thing is to finish an event. Then when you finish an event, you improve on your, st on your stage times and everything. So as you improve, you get better. Like when I started doing rallying, I would come when if, say, for example, we were like 20 or 30 cars, I would be 17, 15 over there. Uh, in my division, I would be fifth, sixth. As we grow, as we learn, we get experience. You start to improve. We started winning rallies. I used to rally in a Group S because my car was an older kind of car. Uh, we used to rally in Group S. And uh, in Group S, uh, we would always be in the podium. We would all, either first, second, third, yes. Uh, most of the times we were second, but a couple of times we were first. I have trophies winning the Guru Nanak Rally in 2012 where we came first, where we had about 20 cars in our category. Out of 20 cars, we managed to come first. We were, that was my first time to ever win a rally. Again, Guru Nanak, we were second, uh, competing in the, this was the candidate event of the WRC 2019. Like I said, we were 14th overall and like 5th in our group. Now Group N with the new car. Okay, we are now rallying in Group N. We moved from Group S, now we are in Group N. With the new car, we have the Evo 10. Um, yeah, and uh, lots of uh, top 10 finishes now that are coming in slowly. And uh, looking forward to more, of course. Because we have more years of rallying under us, you know. We're still, I'd say we're still young in rallying. In rallying, uh, I think once you start getting to f uh, over 40s, 50s is when you start getting old in rallying. But as long as you're not in that mark, you're still young in rallying. So we have many more years to go. Uh, for me, I've done uh, rallies in uh, Kenya and Tanzania. Uh, look, really looking forward to go to places like Rwanda and Uganda. I'd love to rally there one day. But now this is not just Africa. This is the world. It's, it's a big thing for, for all of us. And as for Kenyans, we are proud to have it back. Like I told you, I did it 20 years ago as a service crew. Today I'm driving. It's a dream come true for me. Yeah, and uh, I know my son is watching and I'd like him to also be in the WRC. So as Kenya, we'd love to maintain it for another 20 years. Malik took part in the World Rally Championship Safari Rally candidate event in 2019, where he was navigated by Lineta Yuko to a 14th finish in their Mitsubishi Evolution 10. Most memorable would be 20, 2019. That's just we, when, we, when we got the new car, the Evo 10. Uh, we started with the Evo 10 on Friday. Friday, Saturday, the car gave us a lot of issues. They, at some point, I would even feel like giving up and like, you know, we're not rallying because the car was not going at the speed we'd like it to go. And uh, Lynette kept pushing me. She's like, no, 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 let's just get, let's get to the finish line. Let's get to the finish line. So come Sunday, 
the car automatically on its own decided to behave. A lot of other drivers had issues from position 29. I think we came down to finish to uh, 14th position and like fifth in our group. So for us, that was something else because I was ready to give up on, t on, on Saturday. But uh, Lynette made me push through and we managed to finish. He has a partnered with Lynetta since then as they look forward to more glorious outings, which include at least a finish in the Safari Rally in their respective category. She is very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, uh, she's also helping me. She teaches me a lot also in the car. We learn a lot, both of us. And uh, we are hoping that what we have gained this experience in the past two years I've been with her, we can put it to use in the WRC. Hussein Malik will be proudly representing the country is all aware that the works a team will have an upper hand over the local boys due to their superior machines, but he cautions them of that it will not be an easy ride. What with the Safari Rally always living up to its status is one of the toughest in the world. Competition in Kenya is among the stiffest in the world, I would say. Kenyan drivers are amongst the best in the world. And in Africa, in Africa we are the best. Okay, so I foresee stiff competition from our top boys. They'll also give uh, the top drivers out there a run for the money. That's for sure, I can tell you. We have very good drivers here in Kenya, extremely good drivers. We have the machinery. Guys have come up with the new R5 cars, and uh, yeah, I know guys are going to go for it. Not, it's going to be easy for the WRC boys. <laughs> they know the terrain. Uh, we've done, we started with the Nakuru rally in the beginning of the year, and then we had the ARC rally the Equator Rally, which was both based in the same area. So every, every driver who has done those two events has got a feel of the terrain. We did it when it was dry in February, and we did it when it was extremely wet last month. So we've had a feel of both what it can remove out of us. Uh, we have uh, Sleeping Warrior, where the rocks just appear from nowhere. And uh, the big boys, the WRC boys, are <laughs> I have to be very careful about that as well. So, and our boys are good at that. So. So watch out for the local teams as well as they brush shoulders with the rest of the world in the WRC Safari Rally, among them Hussein Malik, navigated by Lynette Ayuko. What to expect from us is, uh, of course, number one, we want to go for a finish. Number two, we don't want to end up in a hole that we did in the last rally <laughs> and uh, to have a good time, to have fun. And uh, I wouldn't say fight for a top 10 or a top 20. For me, I just want to finish that WRC. Yeah, for us, we're going to be in our rally of in like our own group uh, we have our division that uh, we rally in so of course we're going to be looking at the division drivers that will be our target and uh, we're going to go and have a good time make country sh make kenya shine uh, it's going to be big for our country it's huge it's been 20 years wrc everyone the drivers right now are the drivers who are kids growing up looking at those drivers but now they are driving the cars so everyone has been looking forward to the wrc ever since we were young growing up and most of the drivers will be there. So let's hope for the best. Uh, yeah, so